so thanks for coming. I'm sorry there's not so many people as I thought there would be. But apparently, I don't know, no one wants to know about e-learning. Um, so I'm going to talk about what Kahoot is, then we're going to actually play a game. Um, then I'm going to show you how to create them, how to find other Kahoots, and also how to um, download the Kahoot results. So Kahoot is an online um, based tool which allows you to create four different types of quizzes, jumbles, surveys and discussions and students or respondents respond in real time and on any device with an internet connection. So that can be a laptop, it can be a, hello, that's alright, um, it can be a mobile phone, um, any device with an internet connection. They answer multiple choice questions um, with four answers that are colour coded on the actual device that you're um, answering on. And quizzes and jumbles can be scored so that you can have leaderboards and rankings. And we're going to do this um, basically right now. There's two different websites. Kahoot.com is where you go to create the actual Kahoot and it's where I'm going to control the Kahoot um, game from. But Kahoot.it is where all of you guys are going to go to. So, oh, just one more slide. Um, there's no limit on the number of responders um, in a Kahoot. You're only really limited by the, the Wi-Fi. So, for example, if you're in a church hall and you've got crappy Wi-Fi, um, it's not going to work as well as if you're in college with really good Wi-Fi connections. So bear that in mind. I have had instances where this has been tried in locations that are sort of out, outside of cities and not good connections and it doesn't work quite so well. There's also I think a moral sort of thing to say about if you're asking your students to use their data connection, say they didn't have Wi-Fi, if you're asking your students to pay for your, for your little game, I don't think that's reasonable. Um, it's totally free um, and if you need help I will attend your lectures and uh, lessons to assist. I'll come the first time and make sure everything's working. I'm quite happy to do that. So, <clears throat> we're going to play a game now. It's a little pub quiz. It's only ten questions. I'm going to start by just logging into my account on Kahoot.com. I'm going to show you how to do all this in a minute. And we're just going to look at some configuration options. So when I actually t decide to play the pub quiz game, these are the options that you can select from. So we're going to play it one to one, as in individuals for the time being. I've got a team game that we can play later. Um, the options are generally fairly straightforward. So you can enable streak bonuses, which means if you get two questions in a row, correct, you get more points. Um, I think things like that are really good to keep on because it means um, that if everyone got them all right and there wasn't the streak bonus on, uh, it, the scores would be very similar. Um, I'm going to turn this on now, this name generator. Now this is quite, I know it sounds silly, but this is quite important because if you're in a lecture and you let everybody choose their own names, um, I don't know about the undergraduates at the Institute of Dentistry how polite they are, but you know, nine times out of ten you'll get swear words and you'll get things that you don't really want to put on a, on a screen. So if you turn the name generator on, it disables team mode, but it also means that you, can, you have to choose a name when you log into the game itself. And you'll see there's silly things like orange bunny and, I don't know, yellow whale and stuff. Um, <coughs> The podium, the podium lists the top three people in the Kahoot after every question. You can turn that off if you don't want to, it will still come up at the end. But if you want it in between to see who's leading, you can leave that on. Obviously, it's fairly straightforward to randomise the order of the questions and the answers. It's a good idea to do that so it's not always the same if you do the same quiz again. Um, you can enable a two-step joining process, which means only people in the classroom can actually join the Kahoot. Potentially we could start a game and people from the internet could come in and play. If you do the two-step joining process, that stops that happening and I'll talk a bit more about that if you want me to. It's a bit boring. Um, you can also get to automatically move through the questions and they, you can also require 
people to rejoin after each game is complete. I leave that off. So I'm just going to click on Classic. And this is the bit that you get your phones out for. So, oh yes. So what we need to do is go to cahoots. Sorry about this. I thought I'd put something interesting on. Um, go to cahoot.it on your phone or on your mobile you device your and it'll come up and say, what's the pin number? That is the pin number. <coughs> and I will see you do this on my screen. While you're doing that, I'm just going to say, you can put any video you like in here. I put SpaceX, because I like sci-fi. Um, but just to show you, you could have an image or a video of a tooth or something. Whatever you like. Okay, so I've got two players so far. And you'll notice that you should have got that silly little name generator that says... Purple. Elephant. Three. Four. <laughs> so I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> What's going to happen when I start? Press start. Is it will um, show you the question, and then you'll have 10 seconds to reply to the question. I've set it at 10 because we did it at 20 at the staff development day, and it took a bit long. Um, I think 10 seconds is a bit more challenging for you. Um, and this is a general knowledge quiz, so it could be anything. I actually went to like pubquiz.com and downloaded loads of 10 um, questions. Okay, we've got five players, we know there's five people in the room. So I'm going to press start, and we're going to begin the quiz. So are you ready? Press the appropriate colour on your screen. Which of these terms best describes Stockholm Syndrome? Five seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> <coughs> OK. So. Do you want me to turn that... We can start this again. Do you want me to turn it up to 20 seconds for the, uh, for the purposes of the game? I think that's probably a good idea. Just one second. Oh, don't look. <laughs> OK. Um, which was the question that we just did? Oh yeah, I'm going to delete that question temporarily, okay? Alright, so let's try this again. Sorry about that. Okay. Same process. It, otherwise it's too quick and you won't be able to read the questions. So let's... Oh, we're already, already good. Okay. Okay, nine questions. <laughs> I love this. The Crown of the Empire State Building was originally built for which purpose? I bet you don't know that one. <laughs> okay, so you'll notice that when all of you answer, it stops the question automatically. In fact, it was an airship dock, which is rather bizarre. <laughs> um, okay, next. So we get the scoreboard in between questions and obviously epic elephant was fastest okay next question which extremely light chemical element is named after the sun <coughs> that's an answer okay four of you got it correct the answer is helium and one got it wrong there um, the speed that you actually answer the questions, the more points you get. So the faster you are, the more points you get. Whoa, new leader. Okay, next question. Who was the first British royal to in be interviewed on television? It's quite 
hard this one, isn't it? <laughs> well, it was, in fact, Prince Philip, which one of you got correct? Very impressive. Oh, noble dog is running away with it. Okay, next question. <coughs> Mars has two moons. One is called Deimos. What is the other called? There might be a theme of space questions because I quite like space. It is, in fact, called Phobos. Two of you got that one correct. <coughs> okay, sorry about this one as well. I'm a Chelsea fan. Who is the manager of Chelsea? <coughs> He's Italian, if that helps. <laughs> hey, it is in fact Antonio Conte. So two of you got that one right. Oh, Noble Dog is running away. Okay, we're nearly there. Whose arch enemy is Dr. Robotnik? It's a good picture of him. Well, that's not right, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Four of you got that one right. So it's obviously important to get the answers correct. It is Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know what it went to Mario. <coughs> okay, this one's quite hard. A quiz classic. Which two women were beheaded by Henry VIII? Ooh. It was Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard. Okay, I think this is the final question. No, oh, it's nearly the final question. Umami is one of the five what? One for cooks out there. Hey, was that right? Tastes is the correct answer. I think it's taken senses as well because um, it must be a mistake, wasn't it? Okay, final question. Where does the Takiri cocktail name come from? <coughs> It is in fact Cuba. Okay. So here's our podium at the end of the quiz, where Noble Dog got five, and the rest of you, two of you got four. It's not bad at all. When a game finishes with Kahoot, you can click on Get Results, and you can actually download the results here. You can save it to Google Drive, but you can also directly download them. They come out as an Excel file. And I really like this because it not only shows you um, who's, how many pl people have played, um, who's got what correct and where, but it also does by question. So you can actually see who has answered which question correctly. Now, if you were using real names and you had real data in here and you weren't playing around, you could then start to build up an idea of who knows what across the whole of... Um, the quiz because you would know who, are, who answered which questions correctly and incorrectly. You could do some analysis on that. Um, and as I said, this is for every single question it does this. Okay. So that is Kahoot. That's how you play it. That's what the students would experience. I think it's important to show you guys how to create things. So in order to actually play a game like that, you need to first of all create a Kahoot account by going to Kahoot.com and it's a very simple sign up process, it's just um, a couple of steps. You can even sign in with your uh, Microsoft account. You can sign up with your email address as well and it's as simple as that one form. Once you have created your account, and you log into your account. This is the first screen you see. And essentially it's split up into three or four sections at the top. Um, in order to create a new Kahoot, you click on the new K button up here. But you can also see your old Kahoots or your previous ones by just clicking on my Kahoots. It's very, very simple. If you do click on um, 
new Kahoot, you get a choice of four different types of, qui of games that you can play. Um, we've just done a quiz. I'm just going to read this from my piece of paper so I don't get this wrong. So a jumble is a question whereby you drag four options in a specific order. So if you said which planet is the furthest from the sun, you could have four planets and they'd have to drag them in order. I'm going to show you one of those in a minute. Um, a discussion is just a one question, um, one question on the fly really quickly um, and you can't score a discussion. And a survey, again, is not scored. It's a group of questions that typically are used for things like surveys at the end of a class. So you're never timing anything, you're never scoring anything, you're just essentially collecting data in a collection of, of questions. Um, it's very simple to create Kahoot's. I'm not going to show you too much of it, but basically you click on create a new quiz. This is the section where I added my uh, title of the actual quiz. Now this is searchable, so if I put a space quiz in here, for example, if I put a hashtag, say QMUL in there, and then put space, if I search for either QMUL or space later on when I'm looking for other cahoots, it will actually find that um, because I've tagged it with a cahoot, uh, uh, with a hashtag. Um, you can upload images from a computer. You can also use the Getty images thing, which has got some basic free images that you can use. So you can add whatever you like. <coughs> um, and this is where I put my YouTube intro video of the rocket down the bottom here. And then all you do is click on OK and click on Add Question. And it's the same thing. You add the question at the top left, the four answers, decide on the time limit, and you can add an image if you want to. <coughs> um, one of the things that I find interesting about Kahoot is that you can't mix and match the t question types. So you can't, for example, have a jumble and a quiz. And I think that would be a really good feature if you could have jumbles inside a quiz so that you could vary the quiz with different things, but it doesn't seem to do that at the moment. You just choose the correct answer. And we've created our little Kahoot. Now once you've created a Kahoot, you can edit it, you can preview it, which is quite cool, because it means that you can actually test it, which is probably what I should have done for my pub quiz. Um, and it gives you the interface that the student sees on the right and your interface on the left, and it actually lets you play the game if you wanted to. So if you enter the pin, you can actually play it here to see how it would work in real life. So I'm just going to show you that. This is what you saw on your laptop earlier, on your, com on your um, phone earlier. And this is what I saw on the screen. Okay. Um, if you want to play, you can play it straight away, but you can also go back to My Kahoots and just click on the play button next to them. Um, I did create a jumble. I'm just going to actually show you via the edit screen. So this is a jumble that I created, and essentially the only difference is that you have to put them in order. So the question here was the planets closest from the sun, and I've put them in order. And when you actually see that on screen, if we have a look at this, <clears throat> then what should happen? Come on. is that you'll see the jumble interface is just slightly different where you drag and drop things instead of actually selecting so let's try and get this right Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars that's the only difference, that's a jumble and once you click on K get it correct. Um, OK <coughs> Thank you.
You can also um, search for other cahoots that other people have made. And as I said earlier, you can do that by um, hashtag as well. So you just click on find Kahoot. If I search for QMUL now, which I did yesterday, you'll see that somebody in these cahoots has actually tagged it with QMUL and these are all the QMUL questions currently on um, on Kahoot. There's mine. There's an asthma quiz here. Um, but you get the idea. I, to be honest with you, with, the, with Kahoot's and searching for them, I never find enough that are at university level. They're all a bit sort of like children level. So just beware of that. You can filter it by different um, levels, basically. Okay. Where am I now? Oh, just one more thing about it. You can, if you click on res uh, my results, you basically get to all of the instances where your games have been played. So you can see I've been playing around with it. The Staff Development Day, we actually did it. So I can download the stats from the Staff Development Day here. Um, it's really useful, and you can play them again here as well. Um, oh, yeah. <coughs> Training for Kahoot. I have created some videos for all of what I've talked about today. So how to create each type of quiz question, jumbles and surveys, um, how to play, how to share them. And they will be going on the IOD staff training suite, which is in staff teaching resources on QM+. Um, it isn't there quite yet, but it will be very soon. And I'm just going to show you where that is now, because otherwise people forget. Hey, Fern, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Um, it's in staff resources, teaching resources, and then at the bottom it's in here, or it will be very soon. So a little thing's going to be on here that says Kahoot, and you'll be able to access everything from this interface. Does anyone have any questions? Can you do this via the app as well? Uh, no, it's all done via the web interface. But you can play via the app. You can play, you can play via the web interface. You can't play via an app, I don't think. No, that was a web interface, though, wasn't it? It looks like an app. Did you? Yeah. Well, you can play via an app as too. I didn't know that. <laughs> I really didn't. Can you set them up that way? No, you can't just do that online. Okay. Um, the only other thing I haven't shown you today is team games, which I did a quick little thing on. You have to turn the name generator off for team games. Now, the reason I don't really like team mode is because each team has to share a phone. So if you three sh shared a phone, then there'll be discussion in the, in the classroom. You'd have to agree on a an actual answer. You don't each get a device, you only have one device between the team. Um, that would work well if there was like 25 people here to start with, and then I was expecting more. Um, we could have played team modes and people who could have come in and joined the, the, the game could have joined the team, so they wouldn't have felt left out. Um, I don't think there's many uses that I would use it personally. I would prefer each person to have an individual one. <coughs> Hello. If you're only using phone, one phone, what's the difference? Well, indeed. <laughs> That's a good question. I th well, the, qu the main difference is when you play it, you get like five extra seconds to talk in between your, between your teams about the answer. That's the answer. But nothing other than that. Okay, if anyone has any questions. Oh! Yeah, you could do. So you would need one phone then, because it's only one on the Yeah. Um, I'm going to do this event monthly. I'm going to advertise a bit more next month. Um, but basically, next month I'm going to do something on Poll Everywhere, which again I started at the um, Staff Development Day. And I just want to flesh that out a bit and show you some of the other features on that. Okay, if anyone's got any questions, let me know. Email me. 
Remember, I will come and help you if you want to use it. <laughs>